Movers, here's the challenge video for 4.10. I've got my expert coaches, Coach Sydney, Coach Skyler. This is going to be 10 minutes, X reps on the minute. So at the start of every minute for 10 minutes, you're going to do X number of thrusters. Let's demonstrate the thruster real quick. Important thing to remember is keeping your body weight on your heels, your chest up, your back straight. Skyler's gonna come down to a squat and drive up and overhead with the load and then bring it back to her chest. Wonderful form there. Sydney, so keep the load right next to your chest. Come down with it there, yep. Come down and drive up. Get a little bit wider in your stance too. There you go. And so remember, level one is zero load. Tennis ball is a great thing to hold just for form practice. Level two is partial load and level three would be a full load, that being anything of uh, uh, 20 pounds for men and 12 pounds for women. So we're gonna start it up here, and I'll do the timer for you if you want. If you already got the gist of this and wanna do it on your own, stop the video, get your own timing device. Think about what number you want. If you start, let's say you do seven reps the first minute, seven the second, seven the third, and by the end you're too tired, you're only doing three reps. Unfortunately, your score is gonna be three. It's your lowest number of reps in any given minute. So don't go out too fast. You gotta pace yourself, but don't go out too slow either, because if you get a low rep, early on and realize you could do more, well, your score will be the lowest number of reps you complete in any of the 10 minutes. Okay, girls, are you ready? Yep. Yes. All right, so we're gonna start here in, in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. So I don't know what your X is. Do you girls have an idea? I'm thinking eight. Eight, so Skylar's gonna go for eight. What about you, Sydney? Sydney's shooting for six. Great numbers to target. Once you get the number you're going for, you stop and you've got the rest of the minute to rest, to shake out your leg muscles, to do whatever you want. Really want you to make perfect form here. It's much more important that you're doing the right form than it is the number of reps or the weight you're using. If so when you get this. You can also shift. You can also shift, exactly. Sydney's using level two, she's going to go to level one, and it doesn't matter. The reps still count. Remember, Sydney, the load's at your chest. Yep, you want your elbows underneath it, straight up overhead. Okay, I we're at 40 at seconds. Because I don't think I can get any higher than that. Okay, well you guys don't want to. Sydney, that's enough. If you're shooting for six, you do six and then stop. If you're shooting for eight, do eight and then stop. Okay, and then the second minute you do eight again, or whatever your number is, anything you want. Three, two, one, go. This is minute two, so it's your second round, and you're going for X. You want the X to be the same number every minute. If you went a little hard in the beginning, you may pay for that at the end, but we'll see. So how many was that, Sydney? Six. Six, excellent. So she did six. Looks like you're gonna go back to level two with a slightly higher load. Excellent. Ten. Skylar got 10. Okay, so 10's a good number for you. Sydney, you did a lot more than six. You wanna go to eight? Why don't you shoot for eight? Give me two more before the minute's up. Yeah, I'll just do all the aim. Nice. Eleven. 11. And so th now you're really getting the gist of this. How many reps per each minute you wanna hit that same number, and that way you'll get full credit for it when it comes time to record this and get bragging rights with your friends. So we have 10 seconds left about in the second minute. Go ahead and shake those legs out a little, and we're gonna get ready for minute number three next and try and hit X again, X reps. Three, two, one, go. So this is minute number three. And the girls are gonna go for 11 and eight reps, respectively. Really focus on the form now. You may be doing a lot more at home or a lot less, it doesn't matter. Make the form perfect. We're 20 seconds into the third minute. City made her number, so she's relaxing, stretching a little bit. Nice job, Skyler. I had one mess up for the 12. Excellent, yeah, if you don't do a form properly, don't count that and go ahead and do one that's just right. And now try and recover, absolutely. It's right over there off film. We've got 20 seconds until the fourth minute starts. Remember to always hurry and drink water if you need to. Yeah. 10 more seconds. Okay, this is minute number four coming up. So this is the fourth of 10 one minute intervals where you're trying to do X reps on the minute. Two, one, go. Really focus on the form. Keep that weight against the chest, body weight on your heels. Full range of motion. I love the way the girls are going down until their thighs are parallel to the ground. And they're driving the load straight overhead. I'm keeping my weight on my heels. Excellent. 
Yep, weight on the heels. Excellent job. Make sure you can wiggle your toes, otherwise you've got too much weight on your toes. Yeah, wiggle your toes. Keep that body weight on the heels. And that's 330. Excellent. So you guys are working for about 30 seconds and then you get a little time to recover. Again, you're, you're setting your own X. And you may do this today and have uh, a better sense the next time you get this kind of challenge as to how you want to tackle it. You have 15 seconds left. Skylar's drinking some water. Sydney, would you like some water too? Get about 10 seconds. And then we'll be at minute number five. This will put you halfway through the exercise. Three, two, one, go. Now I'm going to emphasize form. Nice full range of motion. Body weight stays on your heels. Your chest is up. The back is straight. Your core is engaged. Nice full motion. Drive straight up and over. Excellent. You girls have some great looking thrusters here. Hit the X. Hit your number. Go ahead and, and pause. 11. 11. 11 and 8. Perfect numbers for you guys. It's a good, good pace. And you use the rest of that minute to relax. We're already halfway done. We got five more one minute intervals. This is letting the tension out of my muscles. <laughs> this is an interesting way to keep the muscles loose. Yes, yes. All kinds of techniques here. So we're gearing up here for minute number six in about 10 seconds. Remember, you're doing your own X. Whatever your X is, hit that many reps here in three, two, one, go. This is window number six. Interval number six. Dan, just touch deeper, Sid. Nice. Body weight's on that heel. That's great. Drive the legs up, then the leg arms. Perfect. Very nice, Skylar. Good full range of motion. Nice and steady. Sydney, how many? Excellent. You're aiming for eight. Well done, well done. See, it's great working out with a partner. You kind of push each other, encourage each other, support each other. We're going to come up here on minute number seven in about 24 seconds. So if you're done with your X reps for this one, shake it out. Keep those muscles loose. Four. Number seven coming up in 15 seconds. The girls are doing great. That's why you don't want the X to be too big. Imagine if you were still doing, trying to do 15 every minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Three, two, one, go. What was your advice, Sydney? Make sure what? Three, four. Great job. As you come up, Sid, the bark, the load can start going overhead fluidly. You don't have to come to a full stop. That's better. Yep. Let the momentum your legs create float the weight up overhead. Yep. You can just make it nice and continuous. It doesn't have to stop. Great job, girl. So that was minute number seven. We got three left after this. Go ahead and stretch it out. Now, if you want to do a special bonus because there are three left and add one extra rep, go for it. Make it a little extra challenging. So you'll be doing 12, you'll be doing nine. You got no, 20 seconds the left. Last one, I'm just going to go until that Ooh, goes. that's another way. At the final minute, max reps for the final minute. That's fun too. But we're coming up here now on minute number eight. We got about five seconds. Three. Two, one, go. Really focus on the form now. You're starting to get a little tired. This is where perfect form matters. If, you're, you're, if you feel like it's getting too hard, too easy, or too hard for you, feel free to change the number. A little okay. deeper on the squat, Sid. A little deeper on the squat. There, you want to go down until your thighs are parallel to the ground and drive the weight overhead. Very nice. Focus on form. And like Sydney was saying, if you're, if you're struggling to maintain form, Drop a level. Use a lighter weight. Use no weight at all. I'd rather see the perfect form with less weight to make sure you're getting the most out of this exercise. And that was round number eight. We got two left. You girls got two left in you? Yeah. Okay. Two more. One minute intervals. So one minute interval, you thing, and then to the death. All right. All right. So ten more seconds, and we'll hit interval number nine. Now remember, form, full range of motion, weight on the heels, chest is up, back is straight, and go. Number nine. Nicely done. You can move fast as long as you're not sacrificing form. I'm okay with that. You can use the entire minute, though, to get your X reps. 
This one's way more about form. You may not be feeling as uh, cardiovascularly exhausted as with some of the challenges, and that's okay. This one's really about perfecting the form. Nice job, girls. Take the extra time in this minute to go ahead and recover, stretch out those muscles, get a drink of water. We're coming up on the final minute next. Skylar's already taken on the additional challenge. She said she's gonna go for max reps. So she's gonna do- I'm just gonna do 30. Okay, she's gonna stop if she hits 30, which might not even be possible in a minute. We'll see, because I want, don't want you to sacrifice form. Sydney's going to shoot for 15. So this is a little extra, extra credit here. In five seconds, we'll start the final minute. Two, one, go. So this is window number 10. Final minute. Remember, form, form, form. I've said it every minute, hopefully. And that's the most important thing. Body weight is on your heels. The whole motion. You're down until your thighs are parallel to the ground, and then you're driving up with your back straight, your chest up the load at your chest, and then straight overhead. Excellent job, girls. 14, 13, we're, we're 25 seconds into this minute. 15. Nice job, Sydney. Congratulations. 30 seconds left. 20. Skylar hit 20. A little bit deeper, Sky. Make sure you get in the full range. There it is. Nice. Good job. Get 20 seconds left. Make sure you hit X. You don't want to fall short of X on the last window and then have your score show that. Skylar did some extra credit. Sydney did some extra credit. You got five seconds left at home. Three, two, two one. one. All done. Awesome. So that one was all about form on the thrusters. I'm sure you still did a lot of reps. Skylar, your number was 11 for most of it. Yeah. Is that right? And Sydney's was eight. So, I mean, that's 80 and 110 reps right there. That's fantastic, or 100 and, yeah, 110 reps right there. Fantastic job. Extra ones I did, so and plus some extra, yeah, you both did a few more than that. So I want you to make sure you, you cool down, drink a whole bunch of water, you're gonna feel that thruster, especially when you did it with proper form, and um, we'll see you at Wednesday's movement plan. Remember, keep moving. Keep moving.